Okay, this will probably be the last video I do on, you know, bringing your community together before shit hits the fan. I've done a couple, like I said. Um, this one would be probably just getting the ground set for a, like a defense team. If things got really bad, like I said, in, um, in certain parts of the Middle East and, uh, and in certain parts of uh, uh, South America, people, when things got bad, people would band together and have like community, uh, they, they block off the neighborhood like a, like a checkpoint or something. And they wouldn't let people in unless they recognized you or you were with somebody that they knew, right? Obviously, if you were one guy they knew with six guys they didn't, you probably wouldn't get in there. But, you know, you, there's a family or something, there's a new face, okay, they'll probably let you go through. But they didn't want strangers going in there because they had such a problem with looters and stuff. So that'd be the, the grounds, right? Let's say you did everything I talked about. Then you're in pretty good shape, I'd imagine. You started a community garden, right? That means you guys are growing food together, right? You've gotten to know each other a little bit. It's fun. Uh, it's hard work, but it's fun. And it pays off. And growing food is a very important skill. And it's not something that you're going to be taught. It's something you got to learn. And it's something hard to learn. I know. I'm not that great, but I'm better than I was before, and I'll continue to get better at it. I'll grow just as I continue to grow stuff. Um, let's say that uh, also you do a couple of barbecues. You're out there grilling, you know, some of the veggies you grew. Let's say you're a hunter. Um, you've got some venison and wild boar. That's you know, it's out of game stuff that people might uh, be kind of weird about, but stuff that they probably you know wind up eating later. Some people want to try it out. Along with let's say you, you're rotating out stuff in the freezer. You know, you can make some kebabs with that. Well, game kebabs and just, you know, roast in the freezer that you're rotating out. Well, then you've gotten to know people a little bit better. Food and beer, you know, food and alcohol, man, that brings people together. You get to know people a little better. I've recommended you get in shape. You know, go running or something, I don't know. Run around the neighborhood, get together at a park or something, you know, you got a lake or something. You get to know people. Physical fitness is really important, and you get to know people. Right? Also, like I said, um, you know, if there's anybody that, that knows, uh, and has any self-defense training, you know, well, you could teach people um, that would want to know around you. Talked about building a community uh, watch, start a community watch or neighborhood watch, right? Teach people to defend themselves. That would keep the neighborhood closer together. And uh, that would also be physical fitness. And that'd be one step towards a defense team. People that know how to defend themselves. Right? Um, and the other thing, you know, if you if you did the uh, grilling, maybe you were a hunter or something. And, you and hey, how do you like this? And somebody, you know what, I've always wanted to hunt. Well, you know what, I'm going to go, you know, this next uh, month or whatever, go go take out some wild boar, you know. You got a, you got a rifle? If they got a rifle, well, you know, there you go. Yeah, you know, they have a rifle now. And, uh... You know, you take them with him. Take them with you. You go to the range, throw lead down range with the boys. That's always fun. And you get to know people. Teach them, you know, make sure they know how to maintain their firearm. Teach them their Second Amendment rights. And uh, there you go. There's people that you could probably get hunting buddies, man. That's always cool. Um, and, you know, they know how to use their firearms. You can go to the range together. And, uh, you know, practice on your aim. Especially women. Women pick that up big time. Really quick. Handgun, I don't know how they do it, but they learn it pretty fast. You know, uh, I at first, when I first <laughs> saw that, I, uh, this friend of mine, she picked it up really quick. And I thought it was just beginner's luck. But I noticed that, you know, wait a minute, whenever a woman comes down here, she's always, you know, much better than the guy that comes down and can't even get paper first. So, I, I was, you know, that was interesting with me, especially with handguns. I'm like, huh. So, you know, I used to think it was beginner's luck, but it can't be, uh, you know, all the women... Always having beginner's luck and the men don't. So they just, they naturally pick that up. You know, people that would be interested in that, teach them to get their concealed carry license. 
Because to get your concealed carry, you got to be able to hit targets. That's important. You pull that trigger, that bullet's going to hit something, right? You want people that know how to use that firearm, right? If you believe in the Second Amendment and know how to use a firearm, maintain it, right? All together, that be building your community, you know, making it stronger. And then you could use that as a foundation. Let's say that there was um, some looters or something like that. You know, Ferguson, people going around burning stuff, right? Let's say they started heading to your neighborhood. Well, show of force, hey, look, you're not coming in here. You're not doing nothing, right? Let's say you've got some extra money, right? You could buy some old, you know, some Mos and the Gons and put them up, right? The people that you know around you, you know, especially the neighbors right around you, and if you're cool with them, and they're responsible, and you know how, they know how to use a firearm, well then, if things got bad, you know, your uh, neighbor Joe or whatever, here man, look, here, take this, this is how you use it, you know, you can take it down, take one to the range a couple times, right, let's say you have five or something, you, you buy five, you put them uh, in your basement or something, keep them safe, you take one to the range every so often, they know how to use it, and then if something bad happens, you know, take it to them, hey man, you know, there's some bad stuff coming our way, I got another one of these, take this, you know, well there you go, and say you got a couple, there's somebody else you know, well then, you know what, hey dude, you know, there's bad people coming our way, here, take this, you got five, you've, you've armed five people around you, pretty cheaply, um, again, assuming you know that you can trust them, and assuming they knew how to use a firearm, right, they're not reckless with it. And then you'd also know who else has firearms. And, uh, you know, the people that didn't would have some sort of self-defense training. Y'all could stand together in front of the neighborhood like, look, you're not coming in here. Right? They say the police can't get there. Well, then you're on your own. I'm not saying be a vigilante, but I'm saying you can, you know, have a show of force. Look, you're not coming back, you know, coming in here. You can have people going around robbing and looting and raping and burning things down. Like, uh-uh, you, you know, you can go down that way, you know, you go down that way or go down that way, but you're not coming this way. People with firearms get show, show of force, you got concealed carry, you know, you, you lift your coat and they can see you got a firearm. Other people, you know, you got the Mosin or something. And the people that got self-defense training, well then, you know, I don't know, you, you got people with bats and poles and stuff like that, well, you could have a bat too. And, uh, you know, maybe a, a bat on its own is not much, but when you're standing next to people with rifles and handguns and you got that bat, well then, you know, that's... Another, uh, it's not something to worry about. Then you are a threat. And they'll just leave you alone. It's better to build a community before shit hits the fan. Because afterwards, good luck. That ain't going to happen. Again, you're not going to be a vigilante. You're just going to have a show of force and defend yourself if need be. That's all. That's all. But you can't do that if you don't know people around you. You can't do it alone. Right? You can't do it alone. You can watch the Lone Wolf video if you want to. I talked about that. I'll leave links to these other videos. But uh, that's one thing to do. You know, your community watch, you build on that. Some of y'all get um, self-defense training. If you find people that like to hunt, you're a hunter. Take them with you. Learn, you know, teach them how to use that thing. For those of y'all that just, you know, people that have handguns or rifles or something, you know, go to the range together. Right? Make sure they know how to use that firearm, just in case. You never know. You want people around you that are <laughs> gun savvy, know how to use, know what to do if it jams, keep it clean and maintained, and most importantly, know how to hit that target. Which, if you, you know, they get the concealed carry, well, then that means they passed the test. Right? And then you gotta keep the, the your skills honed. Right? All that together would come in handy big time. Because if things get like they do in, you know, the Middle East or South America, well then you can band together and do the same thing. And they weren't attacking people, they just would not let you in there. Like, look, you're not coming through here. They block off the street, strangers try to get in. Uh uh. You know, you ain't from this neighborhood, you're not coming in. We're not gonna let you. And that would be the most <laughs> important thing of all. The best way to win a fight is not to be in it, right? And a show, a show of force, that usually does it. 
when a gun's pulled out, you know, somebody's going to be somebody's being attacked, or somebody get it robbed, they pull a gun out, you know. A lot of times, you can check out the study by John Lott there. A lot of times, they just decide, you know what, it's not worth it, I'm out of here. Unfortunately, they go find another victim, but the person that pulled that gun on them, you know, they're not going to mess with them. That gun does all the talking. You don't have to shoot anybody, you just have to show them, hey, look, you know, don't make... I got this and I can put you down if I have to. Don't make me do it. And they'll leave. They don't want to get shot. They're not stupid. They may be criminals, but they're not stupid. Anyway, um, hope this helps. Um, I'll leave a link to how to build a community garden in the, in the description bar and start in a, a neighborhood watch. And again, all these things would be the good foundation to build up your community, which would be very handy if shit hit the fan. Knowing people and being able to defend yourselves as a group. Anyway, I hope this helps. There's been quite a few videos on this, but I thought I'd do it in segments. Some people won't be interested in some parts and other people not in others. Anyway, I hope that helps, guys. Think about it, man, because you can't do it alone. All right, anyway. That's it.